won the toss, chose to receive, and Money Mac. Evan McPherson over the ball. Big Money Mac. $5 million extension sends this down to Jones and the dynamic kickoff starts us off from the nine Jones down to seam. Jones and then and the call made by today's referee Trey Blake. And there is Caleb Williams, USC has been winner in 2022, a generational talent, and the first overall pick in the NFL draft. And he's got some, and a guy that I've liked for a long time, watched him a lot in college, Rome Adunze, University of Washington, three pretty good wide receivers for Caleb. Goals, fires through the hands of Keenan Allen. Acquired from the Los Angeles Chargers, six-time Pro Bowl. You had a chance to go down and see Caleb before the game, and he just exudes such a calm. Yes, it's a preseason game, but it's your first chance. Around him when he was at USC, and uh, that's just him. I mean, he loves the game. He's focused. He prepares, and I don't think it's any different now. The motion, Williams throws back incomplete for Gerald Everett. Joseph side the pressure, and how about we take a look? And we are watching those edge rough rushers and including Joseph Osai. Joseph Osai has a chance to really step it up. He's a guy that's on. He's got a chance now to, to play quite a bit. We see DJ Turner, the other cornerback, who's very, very impressive uh, his time playing. So we got some We're down and 10. Takes the snap, maneuvers the ball. Clean pocket. When they should have zagged. <laughs> Maybe looking for Odunze, who is running over the top. Fourth down. Good job by the uh, Bengals defense. Caleb back on the second one right there. As you said, someone zigged. should have zagged. There's nobody there. Good three and out for the Bengals defense. There's a flag. Building also includes a loss of down. Fourth down. An eligible man downfield. Someone's got to tell that offensive lineman he's got to report before he goes downfield if he's going to look for a pass. There's unanimous All-American at Iowa, and they punted a lot. Australian kicker stands Burton back to return. There's already a flag down. Burton retrieves at the 35. So there is a flag that came as that ball was kicked, but a nice return for Jermaine Burton. Face mask, receiving team number 33. 15 yard penalty. Dejon Anthony on that uh, face and an opening. We'll see right here. Takes it. Good hang time. A Taylor. Burton finds that crease. Takes it up. Good return right there. Rookie Dejon Anthony. Well, the offensive line is a little banged up. The starters weren't going to go anyways, but Travis Mims out with a pectoral strain. We found out what the dictionary definition of several was this week from Zach Taylor. An indefinite number. But the offense trots out. With Logan Woodside at the helm, browning out with a rib injury, Joe Burrow gets the call at tight end. Double tight set, and off across the 20 after the penalty. And the ball carrier. You have the rookie, number 62, Matt Lee there at center. You got Cody Ford at right guard. Six bases there, a lot of backups. Got rookie there at center. Travion Williams gets the fifth round by the Bengals in 2018. Most of that time spent in Tennessee. They hand off to Williams. Tossed to Evan by Tremaine Edmonds. You also have Jackson Kirkland at the left tackle. We see really good protection here by that offensive line. Playing time today. Burgess among the receivers will get a chance. No Chase, Higgins, Jones. Lassiter motions. Third down and three. And throws to the sideline, caught by Williams, and steps out of bounds with a first down. Picked up four, needed three. Montez Sweat. We'll take a look at it. Sweat gets under Cody Ford and just pushes him right back into the quarterback's face with Woodside doing a nice job. Montez Sweat showed right there. He's going to try to get under your pads. You have to lower your pad level so he doesn't push you back like that. Ford primarily playing it. To Williams, plows ahead over the right side. Look at that pile. Rummage 
forward to the 36. By Kettering Health. And we're watching Matt Lee at center. Eric Hall as well should get, as you mentioned, a lot of snaps. It'll be exciting for him to get in there and get a little action against that first defense of the Bears. Gain on first and ten, second and six. Woodside bubble screen grounded it. It got hit by Gordon, the nickel corner. Lasseter was the intended receiver out there, and he had a blocker in front of him. Cole Burgess was out there to pick up a block, but that ball never got to him. He bounced it for, uh, for Lasseter to get a few yards. Cincinnati defense for last week, 17-14 to Tampa Bay. It's actually game three for the Bears. They had their gaudiest preseason win since last week. Defense that did not allow a touchdown to the Bills. A lot of movement. You got Nate Gilliam on that left guard, number 66, along with Kirk. Good old start. Yeah, Gilliam moved just a little quick. The D lineman was coming across, and Gilliam moved, and then Kirkland moved. Having Tanner Hudson in there, tight end. Pretty good catcher of the football. See what uh, maybe he works that middle. 12 games. He was a bubble guy in preseason last year. Certainly earned his way into the squad. Woodside found Hudson, and he got wrapped up at the 35. Open field tackle from Jonathan Owens. Great Olympians of all time. And it's fourth down. Yep. Other than that uh, pass rush where Sweat gets under Cody Ford for the moment. Right there, he, he hits a short pass and not enough for the first down. So, uh, hey, putting time. Josh Blackwell back to return. Sidesteps the tackle. And between the hash marks, inches out to the 30 yard line. The outset. This game presented by Paramount Plus. Never, but we're glad Marissa did for the team. <laughs> she took one for the team. Hands off. And Herbert up the gut. Three passes, three incompletions for the Bears. You know, we've seen a lot more of the elements a little bit better, rain notwithstanding. So the ones get their chance to play through that experience. Luckily for us all, and try to play in that adverse condition. You know, what they're doing now in preseason, not playing a whole lot, I like that. Because when you go at practice, it's going to be game situation. The speed is going to be a lot quicker than practice. So I really like the joint practices. Pitch out to Herbert. Bocci and John Meta involved. Bocci doing a nice job. You see him right in the middle. And he just takes off running. You think it's Bocci, Davis, Gaither, Pratt, Wilson that are really good. We're going to see a lot of that play out of these next two games as homers come in at running back. I agree with you. I think that's, uh, you know. That... Third down and five. Williams steps, throws, and it is short of the 40. They needed the 40 for a first. Gerald Everett. You see, nice coverage. They're allowing the Bears to catch the ball, but as you mentioned, Davis is right there to make the tackle. Tory Taylor in the punt after the Davis stops before the first down marker. Hawkeye football to him. <laughs> Second time he'll punt the first quarter. Drives it away. Burton, nice return negated by a penalty. Well, 49-yard punt, no return. And the Cincinnati offense making the... Schedule, as you mentioned, starting out with the Patriots. Get to... Um, have two new Ring of Honor members, Tim Crumright. Logan Woodside under center. Second drive for the Bengals offense as the sun really pouring out now. Short completion to Lassiter. Got a little misdirection there by the uh, Bengals and uh, Gordon doing a nice job staying at home. See right here, Lassiter makes the catch, tries to turn it up, and Gordon is on here, Mike, because these offensive linemen, they're not seeing a lot of fantasy stuff because the Bears are not going to throw a lot of their blitz packages and twists and on big man. Off a two-yard loss. Handoff, big hole. There goes Williams out toward the 20-yard line. Still say that. Cody Ford does a nice job on sweat. You see Trey Hill taking this guy inside, opening up a big hole for Travion Williams. Played all 17 games last year, primarily on special teams. Only 15 carries. The 26-year-old in motion into the backfield alongside Woodside. Four receivers set, including Burton in the slot to the left. Down. And out to the 32-yard line. Gain of 12. 
Nice job by Woodside. You see right here, the four or five yards of them. Nice throw by Woodside. Nice catch. Well executed play. And mentioned Hudson earlier. Pretty good catch of the football. Day off. And while in the running back room, Zach Moss sits. Chris Evans, the torn patellar tendon. His season is over. Same could be said. Here's Collins. Had some nice soft plays last week in the fourth quarter. Andrew Billings in on the stop. The former Bengal. Mike, to go back to the two you mentioned about getting her, Chris Evans, valuable running back, he's out, and Deontay Smith was having a, uh, it, it's tough to see those two guys go down. Smith provided coverage at both the tackle positions a couple of weeks. No gain on the Collins run, this is an empty set. Oh, oh. Woodside demolished! Woodside never saw it coming. Wow. Just as I mentioned, they're pretty plain. I did not see him at all. There's got to be something where he can see that guy. Got to be somebody stacked behind that cornerback because he's backed up with another secondary guy. But Woodside did not see him at all. Eight-yard loss, third down and 18. He's returns at running back, and this will move even further back. Offense, number 63. Yeah, it's tough to give up a sack like that and then come right back the next play and make another mistake. You got to regroup. You got to keep it together. Back-to-back -to -back plays. That's, that's tough one. Really good crowd in Chicago. The debut of Caleb Williams. You can feel it as third down and 23 faces the Bengals. Hand off right up the gut. Swallowed up by a couple yards to the 22. And the Cincinnati punting unit takes the field. Marcus Walker going against, uh, doing a nice job setting the block and making the tackle. Rico's now got the list last week. Rico, a 42-yard punt the first time around. This time leaves it a bit short. And racing. And it'll be to the 22-yard line for the Bears offense, which should keep their ones out a bit longer. Sunday, September 8th. For a 1 p.m. kickoff. Gonna get my orange shirt ready, baby. I'll be there. You and I were excited to get tossed over the middle and a completion to Cole Komet. Potential all pro tight end and Caleb is in there. Number 45 right there on the coverage. To make the tackle. Ten tackles last week. I'll tell you what, look at that. Coverage is right there. Also helping John Meta out with that tackle. Williams' first pick out of USC gives left. This guy is fighting tooth and nail to make this football team. John met in there quickly, but another guy that was in there, 26, Tyson Anderson, you wrapping him up, taking him right down. So Herbert just felt the full wrath of Muma. <laughs> 23. It's turning out he's a pretty good football player, too. Yep. Another third down for the Bears offense. Down receivers in the NFL. Slapped away by Newton. And it's fourth down. Josh Newton making some plays last week. Very nice coverage. The ball was thrown pretty much right on the button there. But Billy uh, Newton getting his hand in there, knocking it down. Matt Eberfers defensively. So Caleb Williams didn't really see all that much new. Felt that this would be a better barometer for him. Five spins into a tackle down by Hardy at the 35. Both offenses trying to last week, huh? Oh, my goodness. He went up the ladder last week. Up five, got his high point. Nice interception. He sees the U to the national championship game in his two seasons in Waco. Cincinnati's offense read A. Williams bottled up just beyond the line of scrimmage. Maybe got a yard. Jack Sample came through the 57, made that tackle. Give Travion uh, Williams a chance to get the line of scrimmage and make a few yards. Just, I believe, one yard there. Sam Bornman's a linebacker position for the Bears. I think a position they've been pretty famous uh, for the, in, the, in the past. On Brian Erlacher's tackle record for the team. That's amazing. <laughs> that is Woodside oh. going short. There's a flat condensed at the 45-yard line by Sanborn. We might have had O-lineman downfield. A little too and there was a receiver downfield. That play was set up really nice. Those guys could have just been a little more patient. It would have worked out a lot nicer. You'll see the right guard and right. Yeah, the guards actually are down five yards past. They set it up nicely. Oh, my goodness. They got a few yards there. 
That'll cost 26 yards. Although the stats only say a five-yard penalty. Collins. Collins. Contact at the 30 to the 31. Right. Amen, I think. A bond. Amiga. No Browning today, a rib injury. Joe Burrow getting the day off. And so Logan Woodside, we expect to go late in option at quarterback. Woodside, a lot of pressure, steps through, lobs downfield, caught at the 50. And catches for 82 and a score last week. 19-yard gain, and Dominique Robinson came through and laid the hit off him before. And right there, Burton just takes and he finds a spot right there and settles down. The ball nicely thrown as Woodside avoided some of the pass. He doesn't have to learn the whole system all over again. Has some experience. Woodside from under center. Play fake to Collins. At the 47 by Kyler Gordon. These are the Bears' ones for the most part still on the field. You can see their late an 18 play drive that the Bengals suffered through and got the turnover in the red zone. The Bears are getting that kind of workout today. Well, you got that. You can run and you can practice, but until you get out there and have ba game experience and the rigors of, okay, write it down, come back. Over here in Chicago, and Zach Taylor's defense has to be rather pleased with how they've been able to bottle up this Chicago.